Very quickly, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Messy Modding Store. His link will be down in the description below if you want to go check him out. Uh, he basically offers all kinds of different like XP services or money services in in video games like GTA or Call of Duty, uh, Fortnite. There's skin stuff. There, there's a bunch of stuff. You can go check it out if you want to. If you don't, then it's fine. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Hey guys, this is the editor, editor. I'm coming at you guys with a solo mini XP glitch in the game of Red Dead Online. Um, we'll try to come at you with more consistent videos. I am feeling a lot better. Uh, with the sickness, thankfully. I had no idea, but yeah, the like the Christmas stuff is out for Red Dead now, so it's like snowing. Um, not just because I'm in Coulter, but it's snowing everywhere. Alright, so uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about Coulter, uh, because there's really no other good spots for today. Yesterday we had Window Rock, but I did not post a video. Um, but there's going to be a fossil you can get right here if you have a metal detector. And fossils are worth quite a bit of money. Um, there's only one thing that it has spawned here today. It's a card in here, but if we did the little find new session trick um, I believe there's gonna be six things in total we can grab here, and then we can go get that uh, fossil is my, is my mic recording? Yeah, okay. I was just making sure now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stand Like right here like in the the T in the road press the pause button go to online and find any free roam session. Now the cool thing about this spot and the reason why I picked this one out of every other thing I could find was because you could fast travel straight here and that's always a big plus. Um, also on the PC and Xbox you can do this over and over again but there is an extra step involved. On the Xbox you would come here, find new session, grab everything we're going to grab in the video, close your application and then clear your reserve space, Red Dead Redemption 2, load back in and everything should be back. If you don't know how to clear reserve space give it a Google. And on the PC version you would come here, find new session, grab everything, close the application and then you would, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, clear your temp folder and after you clear your temp folder load back in the game and everything should be back uh, On the PlayStation you can't repeat it. You can only do what I'm going to show you in this video Unfortunately, alrighty, so we spawned back in I'm at like the northern part of Coulter um, So I'm gonna start I should have went and got that first But I'm just gonna comb through the town show you where everything is from top to bottom uh, First item you're gonna walk over here to this dilapidated church. There's gonna be a card sitting in the window seal ba 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 bam now we can turn around and then go this way inside of this building uh, where a lot of the gang was in chapter one, the prologue of the game, and then grab this cod right here. And then, let's see, uh, okay, yeah, we'll go into this house. And then as soon as you go in, turn to your left, there will be a uh, bottle of Caribbean rum. There we go. Grab that and then go over here. Grab this uh, brush. There's another brush, rosewood hair brush. There you go. Um, and then there's going to be two more things. I'm going to show you those and then we're going to go grab the fossil and that'll be it for the video. Um, right in here. Oop, I passed it. But right here at the fireplace thingy, uh, there's a card right there. Go ahead, grab that, turn around. And then walk over here and inside of these double doors, there's going to be a hay bale or three hay bales with a card on top. There you go. Now we can run and go get the uh, the fossil, which is up this way. I'll show you on the map where it is. Excuse me. Uh, right there it is. I'm just going to cut the video to when I get there. Or actually, I might talk for a second. So, yeah, we do got to wait like two years for GTA 6, but there's plenty of games that should hold you over until then. If you haven't ever played any of Rockstar's older games, like the older GTAs, like 3, Vice City, or San Andreas, I definitely recommend those. Um, if you haven't played Bully, I definitely recommend that. Um, GTA 4. I know a lot of younger people watch my videos. If you've never played GTA 4 and you have a computer or an Xbox 360 or a PS3, because I don't think you can... Well, you can play it on Xbox One, I think. Dude, I cannot find this thing for the life of me. Okay, here we go. Right beside this uh, tree stump. Then give that one a shot. I think GTA 4 might be my favorite one story-wise, if you like the story. It's the most realistic one, story-wise, in my opinion. Um, well, pretty much objectively, besides, like, Vice City. Uh, Vice City's really good, and that's where GTA 6 is going to be taking place. So, you can download that, give that a shot. Uh, if you want, you can play the Definitive Edition Remaster. The game looks really good at nighttime. I don't know if it, they're still, like, really buggy or not, because I remember on, on launch, everybody was, was complaining about them. I didn't have any issues with Vice City, though. Um, I had a buddy that said he had a bunch of issues on San Andreas, though, the definitive version. 
but I think Rockstar might have worked on those and fixed some stuff. I did not mean to eat a carrot. All right, but I'm, I'm going to stop talking. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, drop it a like. If you did not, and drop it a dislike. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this and hit the sub button, you'll see more. Other than all that stuff, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I ain't got no more talking. <laughs>